There we go. So, our audio is being recorded right now, which is not a big deal. But other than that, they're just going to see my sweaty fat hands and then that thing, all right? So, um, to get through this, we don't, we don't use a textbook. We're not going to read the chapters to read together or anything like that. I like just talk our way through it. And so the first thing we're going to do is kind of figure out who came up with this idea. And we'll play a little uh, fill in the blanker here. So this is a famous scientist, and that's too vague, so don't start guessing yet. But this famous scientist said that, says, speed is the distance covered per unit time. Okay, so this scientist, can't, he defines speed. It's a he. There we go. So he defines speed. Not famous at all for this. So, the, uh, my best clue to start with, you guys know the band Queen? Yes. <laughs> Queen. Queen is a clue. No, it's a clue. It's a scientist's clue. It's an excellent guess. So we got Isaac Newton. And we're going to talk about that dude a lot, but this is, he's not the winner for this one. Um, this one, like, we kind of think he's an idiot a little bit because we have common sense and we know that, gee whiz, I'm not going to stare at the sun through a telescope. But it took him having eye damage because he did look at the sun through a telescope. What do you got? Galileo. Galileo, Grace is the winner. Yes, excellent. So Galileo. So come on, be Bohemian Rhapsody. That's what I'm talking about for the Queen. No, I won't sing it, and no, you don't want me to. All right. Uh, Grace, can you sing it? <laughs> oh, uh, I just got that. There you go. So Galileo came up with this. He's famous for way, way, way more important things, usually astronomy stuff. And uh, think about why we care. Because, like, if you... Oh, if I said that I drive fast, let's just say I drive fast, all right? Like, you have so many different ideas of, like, what do you think fast is? So she's on the expressway, and maybe I'm going from Shepherd to Mount Pleasant or wherever. If I say I drive fast, you guys might be thinking, oh, she goes like 100 miles an hour. No, she doesn't, okay? But you, you might be thinking that. Or if I say I drive fast, I'm going 85 chicken, I don't want to take it, all right? For me, that's probably about as fast as it gets. And you're like, but well, that's not fast. Like, my dad, you see how fast he drives. Like, in science, you can't just have these things that are subjective. You can't just say, oh, yeah, I'm fast. Like, some of you might say, well, I, I, I walk to school. Boy, I walk fast. Like, are you like a mall walker walking fast? Are you power walking? Or, like, I've seen some slug, slugs walking down these hallways already. So, like, you got to define fast. And so what he came up with is this a distance covered per unit time. So what is it in your vehicles that measures your speed? Speedometer. Speedometer. And here we are in America. So for the most part, what are the units we use? I said I was going 85 miles per hour. You're in pretty much any other country, and they're on a metric system. So some of your vehicles you may see they still have it in kilometers per hour. Okay. Their system is easier, but we're from America, so we're going to do it our way, right? So uh, that's why we do the miles per hour thing, because we like to remember all kinds of fancy numbers. So speed itself is distance divided by time. Okay, there won't be much number crunching in this target. It's not until we get to the next one. Right now, it's just kind of getting this general idea down. So the distance covered, because one of the next things we have to do, other than worry about speed, is understand this idea of distance. And I know that seems crazy easy, but if I ask you how far you live from school, who has an idea? Okay, so what's your guess? On how far? 0.72. What did you say? 0.72. That's not even an estimate. Like 0.72 miles? Yeah. 
Yeah, okay, so he lives 0.72 miles from school. How far do you live, though? Where do you live? I live two blocks For me? It's creepy. <laughs> you know this, I don't want to like that. Okay, so if I live like, are you closer to the school or farther from the school? Farther? So let's just say I live four blocks if she lives six blocks if she lives. So six blocks would be the distance. Now, some of you have this and obviously know where I live. So if I just tell you, hey guys, I live four blocks from the school, ignoring the fact that you know, you can't just walk right to my house. Oh, yeah, 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 I know where to go. No, you don't. Like, you could be headed out towards Blue Jay Meadows. You could be headed out towards Wynn, that direction. Okay? But if I said four blocks north, you've got a better idea. You might have to get out your phone and look at which piece north. Okay? But, like, you would have an idea, at least hopefully, which way, which way to go. So this idea of a distance is actually a how far. Distance is just how far something is. So how far and then time... How long does it take? Okay, to keep it as simple as we absolutely can. All right, so like I said, a speed, we'll use a lowercase s for it. We could say it's 55 miles in one hour because we're all rule followers, I'm sure. Okay, so 55 miles per hour could be a how fast you're going, how Blanchard Road, let's say. All right, this next one. Velocity, okay? This idea of velocity, you think it's kind of sort of like speed. Most of us just aren't like nerdy enough. We say, yeah, like you could easily say, yeah, my speed is like 60 miles an hour. Most of us don't say, my velocity is 60 miles per hour in a whatever direction. Like we just don't usually think of it that way. I have seen like in sports people, the announcers will want to sound real smart, you know, like they're gun and Justin Berlander or something. They'll say, oh, that ball's velocity was 98 miles an hour. And that's not even right. They didn't even use it correctly, all right? Uh, that's beautiful that we have a win today coming through here like this. We might survive. Huh. But that's not even used correctly. Velocity itself is speed in a direction. So it's speed with a direction tied to it. So they're never going to say that Justin Verlander's fastball traveled 98 miles per hour in a 370 degree trajectory direction. They're just never going to say that, even though they'll throw out the velocity word. So it's got to be speed with a direction. So this idea of, so when I'm doing this, of speed with velocity, or speed with direction. Now, you don't know this yet, but my drawings are simply something to laugh at. Not good, okay? Not good at all, but I think it's probably better because, hey, you got to liven up this somehow. So we're going to start out. What do you think that is? Tornado. It's a tornado. That's not bad for me, okay? I can live with that. Let's, hear, let's pretend that we hear that there is a tornado in Elma, and that tornado is traveling 30 miles per hour. So a tornado in Alma is traveling. I'm trying to make this bigger. So apparently when you're in record mode, you can't enlarge it. There's another problem in my life. All right. So 30 miles per hour. If Mr. Pasolak were here, so there's a tornado in Alma, 30 miles per hour. Is he going to get on the PA and tell us to get out in the senior hallway and go into hunker down mode? What, what, what don't we know? Where it's going, going alright? So now we got to work on our geography, which I'm not good at, but I've got this. Elma's that way. Which direction is that from us? That's south. Okay, Mount Pleasant is north. That would be that way. Alright, so Elma is south. So if, though, we hear that this tornado in Elma is traveling 30 miles per hour south, that's now a velocity. This in itself is just a speed. Now we would say the velocity of the tornado is 30 miles per hour south. Do we need to worry? No. Now, who does, though? Um, Who's next? Ithaca. Ithaca, yes. So Ithaca needs to hunker down. <laughs> We're okay. All right, so 30 miles per hour south, that means it's headed to 
Ithaca. Yeah. And we're good to go. Not their football stadium. Oh. <laughs> Not that pretty little loss there. Were they home when they lost last week? No. Yeah. Were they? They lost right. It was a really good team. Yeah, that's it. You can't. Whatever. That opens up a whole other can. All right. Uh, it is. So tell me this. Tornadoes, weather, it's important. I mean, maybe not yet. Pretty soon, we're all going to secretly hope for a snow day. It's going to happen. And so, if you hear about a storm in Wisconsin, big old blizzard, and you hear us traveling 40 miles an hour, that doesn't do us any good. You've got to hit that little animated button so you can see which way it's going. So meteorologists, they're always caring about velocities. If you're like a, uh, you're you're directing airplanes, things like that, like air traffic controllers. They're worried about velocity. They don't care how fast a plane's traveling. They need to know where it's going. Okay, so if we need a direction, that's velocity. Next one. Displacement. We've already talked about distance. So we've actually knocked out speed, distance, velocity, which leaves us two to go. Displacement. I'm going to give you the simple definition. If we got a good old Google, it gets fancy. But it is where you end up relative to where you start. So where you end up compared to where you start. Yes, sir. Yeah, take that blue pass, please. By the way, there's two passes over there hanging off the uh, pencil sharpener. I guess I'm stereotyping, I don't know, but it just makes sense blue and pink because I, it's easy. So grab the blue and pass if you're a guy. And I'll have people that really want to test me. So if you really want to carry that pink pass in there, have that with me. All right, so, uh, but I just have one of each out at the same time. Uh, so where you end up compared to where you start? If uh, you walk, what's your name? Okay. So if Haley walks six blocks to school, okay, she walks six blocks to school, walks six blocks home, what is her distance for the day? Twelve blocks. Displacement says, though, when Haley's sitting at home, got her feet up watching Netflix, whatever it is she's doing, at the end of the day, her displacement is zero. Because she started at home, she left, she came back home. Displacement is you got to think about where where you went compared to where you start. Distance is way easier. Think about your vehicle. Like I've got, I got a new truck and we can't not stop in the summer, so I finally got like 3,500 miles on that truck. Okay, the truck is parked at home, so the truck's displacement in the grand scheme of things is what? Zero. Zero. Yeah, according to that odometer, it's what 3,500 miles. So that's the distance. Okay, so distance is where where you where you go and displacement is where do you end up so let's have a fun Haley you seem like a good sport so if this is Haley's house is it H-A-L-E-Y yeah. here's Haley's house and over here up here we're just gonna make it a longer house <laughs> that's the school there Absolutely, we're very proud of it too. So, Haley's house to the school. She is going to, everybody will be a stick person, all right? And every girl, well, we're just going to give you curly hair. That's something to be proud of right there. All right, so you're going to go six blocks. You're going to come back six blocks. And so we're going to have two things. We're going to have distance, and we're going to have displacement. So distance, displacement. Distance, you guys already said. It's a total. It's a how far. That is 12 blocks as I ran out of space. Displacement. I'm going to put zero just because I think like zero, an O, and a B. That'll look weird. So zero blocks. Is the displacement. But right now, Haley, poor Haley is here. She is six blocks from home. What is her displacement right now? Six blocks. Six blocks. 
because as compared to where you start, direction matters. So this thing has to include direction. So her displacement, let's do this. When at school, she is actually six blocks. Which way is she from her house? South. South. Perfect. Well done. So Haley is six blocks south. She has been displaced. Okay, six blocks south. When she goes home, no displacement, but a total distance of four blocks. That's the difference. If anybody go anywhere fun after school? Um, Cahoon's room. That is a party over there. All right. I don't know how to describe the distance. Let's say it's 30 feet. So let's say we all walk over to Cahoon's room right now, which is over there. Our displacement is 30 feet. Which direction? Which way is that? Um, west. North? North? West. West. It is west. It is west. Yes. So we would be 30 feet west if we all walk into Cahoon's room. They go to that like we're idiots. All right. So we won't do that. All right. That's displacement. Last one, acceleration, then the rest of the day will be all you. I'm going to give you the science -y definition first, and it's going to look probably a little different. It is a change in velocity over a period of time. Okay, so a change in velocity over a period of time. Typically, what, what would we say the accelerator is in a car, if we ever use that word? Gas pedal. Gas pedal, right? Because we tend to, like in everyday world, we just say that if you accelerate, you're going faster. Push back. Yeah, we say, oh yeah, that thing really, that thing will accelerate, it'll go from zero to 60 and whatever it is, okay? But in, in physics, we don't ever really use the word decelerate, okay, which we would think of as a slowing down thing. So if you increase your velocity, that means we call it a positive acceleration. And if you decrease your velocity, which would mean you hit the brake, let's say, in your car, that's a negative acceleration. Yeah, and always tell me that because I don't look up there very much. So positive acceleration, you gain speed. Negative, negative acceleration, you're losing your speed, you're losing your velocity. Here's the last thing to mess you up, though. It could also be a change in direction. So if you are being irresponsible, you're driving down a dirt road, and you're going maybe 40 miles an hour, truly really isn't irresponsible down a dirt road. But let's say that you decide you're going to take that corner at exactly 40 miles per hour. You're not going to slow down. You're not going to speed up. What are you going to have to move in the car? Steering, steering wheel. Yeah, it's not hard. Okay, so you turn the steering wheel. You are changing direction. Even if you are staying in a constant 40s, your speed doesn't change at all. As soon as you change direction, that is an acceleration. And, and that's the one people miss the most. I don't like it either. Like, I think that's weird. Like, just because I'm turning, even though I keep the same speed, it's an acceleration. Yeah, some physicist somewhere at some point said yes, so we got to go with it. All right, so let's say that you are, are you snowmobilers in here? Really? Yeah, there we go. Okay. So if you're out snowmobiling, and I would like if you're out in a big field, you've got a lot of space where you can keep the accelerator, you can keep it at constant speed, but as soon as you turn. Okay, as soon as you turn that thing, you are accelerating. So, any NASCAR fans? There we go. Okay. That's quite a few. Usually there's not quite that many. Do we have a favorite driver? Say that again? Okay. Yeah? Casey Kane. Okay. He's retiring now. So, that, those things happen. It's sad. I, I don't watch NASCAR. So, I, like, I don't judge. I just don't watch NASCAR. So, that's why I was asked. But... NASCAR, what would be an average speed they go? I know that I always get that look. I don't know. I don't know either. Let's just say you got somebody cruising 100 miles an hour in NASCAR, and I know that's slow. If, think about the somewhat circular track. 
because this is a free free quiz question right here. If you have a race car driver and they are turning in a circle and maintaining a constant 100 miles per hour, it's going to say, are they accelerating? And you're going to say, yes. It's going to say yes, because a circle counts. And you might think, well, but I can just leave the wheel like that. But think about the winter and you hit a patch of ice or something, you're turning or you go off in a straight line. So you actually are turning, even if it's a constant clockwise, counterclockwise, whatever. All right. Okay. So questions, concerns, complaints, too early. We'll save those. Um, I'm going to get rid of this thing. What you need to get out now is your uh, Chromebooks. Just fire up a Chromebook. Leave the notes out because they'll be like your cheat sheet.